Hello Libra, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you're doing well and uh, if you're new here my name is Joe and I'll be doing a reading for all sun, moon, rising and Venus placements. Okay, please do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general. So just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force fit anything. And uh, the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if the title catches your attention. That's why they're timeless and that's usually how it works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the other readings I've done for your sign, Libra, more than anything. Um, do check what other signs you have in your other placements, mostly Moon, Rising, and Venus. And then you might want to check some of the readings that I've done for those specific signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you at this current moment. Okay, that usually happens. It's normal. It usually means that your messages are coming stronger from those placements. Sometimes it happens. It all depends on your current life path or journey. Do feel free also, please, to subscribe. Hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support a channel. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed. And for your kind donations, I truly appreciate it very much. All right, Libra. Okay, give me a second. Let me just uh, tap into your energy and we'll get started right away. All right, Libra, you have the Queen of Wands as a starting energy for your reading. Quite nice energy to start with, okay? Or the current energy that you're dealing with. And Libra, um, I think this is you. It doesn't matter if you don't have, you know, maybe you just have a lot of fire because it's a uh, fine feminine fire energy, okay? Even if you're an air sign, it doesn't have anything to do with anything else. Um, I think you're just being asked where you're starting to embody this uh, energy. And it's about, you know, uh, sitting and allowing things to happen for you. Um, when I say sitting, I'm not saying sitting on your ass and not doing anything at all, okay? Don't be lazy. Um, this is just about trusting, having faith that everything will work out for you. And that you don't have to do much um, in the sense of, you know, trying to control things or too much effort on something, maybe. All you have to do is just have faith, trust, do your magic, keep doing what you're doing, okay? And embrace the mystery. That little black cat, that's her cat. That cat's name is Mystery. She loves mystery. And so should you, okay? And um, don't allow anything to make you angry, bitter, resentful. Okay, that's the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, because I always read both energies. Okay, so you have to allow things to flow and just trust. Trust yourself, trust the divine, and uh, keep doing you, keep doing your magic. Okay, okay, the energy that's. Uh, some of you might have some Leo in your chart because she's mostly Leo, okay? But if not, just fire in your charts. And if not, maybe you're just, like I said, uh, being asked to embody this energy or you will be embodying it, okay? Okay. The energy that's crossing you could be a challenge or a blockage is strength that's Leo energy. Isn't that kind of funny? Okay, I see what's happening here. <laughs> that's a nice resemblance right there. Okay, that line, that's her little black cat. You see, uh, Libra, when you don't embrace the mystery, you don't have faith, well, we tend to escalate our fear more or fear tends to escalate things more for, within us you have to 
embrace that mystery, that fear, okay, and make peace with it. You see how she's, take, you know, just petting that line. Um, you see that um, infinite symbol above the crown chakra? That's about our possibilities being infinite. Um, only your imagination is what can limit you. Only your imagination is what can tell you how far you can dream and you can achieve things. So there's a nice play between this Queen of Wands and the Strength card. Okay, you you have to be strong and have faith and trust yourself. Okay, and trust the process and don't let fears get the best out of you okay so whatever you're going through right now i get a sense that you might be a little um you might be doubting there might be some type of fear or just just not very sure of what's going to happen okay and this is why you're being told just allow things to flow for you okay and just embrace this mystery and don't let it get the best of you the energy is crowning you your conscious mind you are aware of this you're constantly thinking about it, it could be a desire a dream a wish it's the king of pentacles taurus energy well mostly divine masculine earth energy and this tells me you're constantly thinking about reaching some type of stability, a status, something about also about your confidence. You see all that yellow there. That's that's your solar plexus. That's your self-confidence. You do have to have faith and trust, but you are hoping to somehow conquer and reach this level of stability this status of tranquility peacefulness you see how relaxed he is his face is just, he's almost like falling asleep he's holding that pentacle and it's about to fall on the floor he could care less about it because he knows how abundant he is how not only the abundance but his confidence that's what allows him to be just so calm and serene so you're trying to reach this level of, of, of stability okay abundance i'll call it for you it can mean anything it can be your health your wealth your stability your well-being whatever okay but yeah, you're always focusing on this, trying to reach this level of, of abundance and confidence. Okay, so yeah, you're being called to, well, trust and don't let anything get the best of you. There are some fears, I guess, or something that you have to control. That's why you have to be strong and just make peace with the uh, situation that you're going through okay look at that i was thinking about this one just when i pulled the king of pentacles because of the relaxed um, body language i've been getting this combination a lot and it really means something okay this is in your subconscious mind you're not aware of this and you should and the divine your higher self would like you to focus more on this or pay more attention to this it's the four of pentacles okay he is also king okay he's got a crown and the problem is is that you see how stress is compared to that you see the body language of both this as i was saying he's so relaxed he's about to fall asleep and he's just going to drop that coin this individual right here is exhausted. It seems that he can't rest, he can't sleep. You know, he's just holding on very tight to these pentacles and he doesn't want to let them go. And here's where this 
energy of the Queen of Wands comes into play, you know? If you really want to reach this level of, of, of stability, tranquility, self-confidence, you're going to have to let go and let things flow for you. Okay? Um, you're going to have to be mindful with your health. Okay, because this, you look, look at the stress on that guy. I mean, he, even the, the clothing is torn. This is what this energy is doing to you. Literally, it's tearing you apart because you're trying to control something. You're trying to manipulate things. Maybe I kind of picked up that, but I didn't want to really say it. I didn't want to call you out somehow. Okay, but the Queen of Wands in reverse can also be very controlling. That's why they're telling you, please, Libra, um, allow things to flow. You don't have to control anything. You don't have to. Okay. Just go with the flow of things and, and enjoy this. Um, the more you enjoy it, it will be better for you. And the results will be more positive. So, yeah, you're, you're literally choking the energy. You're not letting things flow. And it's because you're acting from a state of fear. So they're telling you to please stop doing that. Okay? Um... Let go, let things flow, okay? That's really funny, you know, how I was thinking about that card when I, because the most important thing about all of this is that this is your conscious mind, this is your subconscious mind. And there's this linear connection between both, what that I'm seeing. This is why you need strength. And you need to have trust to just let things flow, okay? The energy behind you this is so weird because I keep getting most of this with these combinations. I've not been shuffling the cards really well. The energy behind you, recent past, where you're coming from, you're leaving behind, should be leaving behind, or the reason why you're going through this situation is the Knight of Pentacles. Libra, you, you're meant to move, flow, okay? You have to have faith, you have to trust yourself. It's such a waste of gear, high quality gear that you have, because that's no ordinary horse, that's a stallion. And that armor, you know, armors. Are not very cheap or were not very cheap back then. And sometimes they were even passed through generations. And with this message is telling me that you have all this equipment, but you're just standing there, staring at the blank, at a horizon. You're not doing anything about anything. You're not moving forward. You're not taking advantage about anything. You're just standing there with that pentacle in your hand. You want to grow. You want to reach this level of success, you better start moving. But do it with confidence and not having to force or rush things. Because the Knight of Pentacles is also known as that. If it's not stagnant, it is the most, the slowest um, night of all the four nights. So, but you have to stop standing there just looking at the horizon and not doing anything about anything. This is you just staring at your dreams and hopes, your desires without taking any action. Queen of Wands is takes action. She goes after the things that she wants, but she's not as, as impulsive as the King of Wands. Queens are a little more relaxed. So you're meant to go after what you want to, but you have to do it Allowing things to flow the way they're meant to. The energy that's in front of you, we're headed to what's coming towards you in your future for some of you. It's the Six of Swords. I like this energy because it's about you. If you do, if you do follow this roadmap, 
and you are strong enough to let go of things and let the energy flow, you will be placed, it's like you will be placed on the right path. You'll be able to transcend, transform, transmute your energy to better waters, to a better place, to a better situation, whichever way resonates more for you, okay? There will be more peace and tranquility, okay? And yeah, it's just like letting that energy flow. Let, you see this guy, it's almost like a guide who's taking you, this child. You have to let yourself be guided where you're meant to go to, okay? But it's to something, well, it's calmer and better. I don't know why. Maybe for some of you, there is some type of sense of regret once you do this. Maybe you did want to, or you tried to control something because you wanted some kind of outcome in a very specific manner you know well, sometimes we just can't do that okay but if not you know just allowing yourself to be taken where you're being where we have to be taken to okay and stress-free more than anything this is how you should see or respond see yourself or respond to the situation or reading or it's a representation of you, okay? Chariot, Cancerian energy. Okay, it's about moving forward. It's about you being in charge of your destiny. You're behind the steering wheel. You're in the driver's seat. It's like Divine has stepped back and has allowed you to be in charge of your destiny okay as long as you play along with these simple rules where you don't have to push force anything and you just let things flow the way they're meant to okay but it's also about having confidence a lot of confidence and trusting but you're meant to move. You're meant to move forward. If you want to reach this King of Pentacles energy or status, you're in charge. Okay? But you have to be... It's about being confident and trusting. And that's the only way that you're going to be in charge of your own destiny here. Allowing things to flow the way they're meant to be. Because once you try to control things, uh, things start changing. And you know that. You start forcing things. That's when things start, they start stalling also. Okay. Nothing works out. It's like the is telling you here, I'm, I'm allowing you to, to drive the car now, but Take it easy, okay? Take it easy because it's the only way that we're going to get there. Okay? Drive safely. Kind of an energy. This is the energy that's surrounding, it's influencing, it's inspiring, it's two of cups. I get some type of, uh, oh yeah. This is you um, tapping into that same vibrational energy. Maybe even with your future self, if that is the case. Maybe, maybe some of you are focusing on coming, coming into union with someone who's more stable. Well, who's very stable, who's very secure, very confident. And the only way to tap to their, yeah, 
whether it's another person or like a feature version of yourself, you have to tap to the same frequency where you can finally look eye to eye at the same level. This is like a unison vibrational uh, exchange. And uh, once you tap, it's like then you will start coming closer and closer to this King of Pentacle energy, which could be that future self or probably someone else. Okay? But this is like, it's that energy that Rumi said that, you know, it's that whatever you are seeking, it is seeking you. So you're meant to come into union with this, okay? With this King of Pentacle energy. But only it will happen once you allow things to flow and you trust. I'm going to keep um, repeating that because that's part of the, I mean, I think that's the main message here. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Hopes and fears, we have the tower, Scorpio energy. You're afraid that something bad is going to happen. That's that Queen of Wands, that strength, that you not allowing things to flow the way they're meant. It's because it's fear based. You, you think that something's, this shit is going to hit the fan big time. And it's, something's going to collapse. Um, Libra, if something has to collapse, you got to let it flow and you got to let it happen because maybe it's part of that. It's part of your divine plan or journey. All you have to do is just trust and understand that if something goes wrong, it's meant to be, but don't let that thought of something's going to happen when probably it won't get the best of you. This is where you're, this is why you're acting in this state of fear because you're constantly thinking about this and this is what's preventing you reaching this king of pentacle energy because you think that something bad is going to happen and that you're not protected or your divine does not have your back or you're not being watched over you are watched over you're always watched over the problem is your self-doubt is not helping you very much the outcome or the advice, which I usually take more as advice, Eight of Cups. Something has to be left behind. Sometimes, some type of sacrifice. I don't know. Maybe it's just that old way of, or this way of wanting to do things. You're meant to just, oh, that's what it is. No, you don't have to sacrifice. Well, maybe you do for some of you. But uh, it's not the whole point here. The whole point here is that you have to just go and search that one thing that emotionally fulfills you. Uh, wherever you're at, it's not there. That's the whole point about this card with this message. And um, don't let anything stop you. Don't let your fears, your emotions stop you. Okay? I think that's pretty much what that card says. Okay, bottom of the deck. Four of Cups. So there is this energy of, well, yeah, of course, discontent. Not happy the way things have always turned out for you. This is why we are acting in the state of fear and you're thinking that the worst is going to happen. Because you've, it's like something that has been embedded in your um G DNA is your genetic or spiritual DNA. Um, and you just constantly focus on that. Nothing works for me. On that negative side of things. That's what's causing this uh, slowdown. This interference for you. And this is why you think that if you have control of things, we'll, it will be better and safer. You try to play it safe, but you're acting from fear. That's not the, that's not playing safe. Okay. Pitch of pentacles, that's hoping, putting that pentacle up in the sky and hoping for the best. Keep your head, your chin up and have faith and dream big. 
Rome wasn't built in one day. Okay? Libra. From a page, you will reach that King of Pentacles. But just trust. You see all that yellow? It's about having faith. It's that solar plexus. Seven of Cups, it's right before the Eight of Cups. Yeah, don't let your emotions get the best of you. Don't let your emotions cloud your vision. Please. Okay? You're meant to come to union with something that is equal to you. And this thing is trying to come to union with you. But it can't if you are in constant fear and trying to control the situation. Let's get additional messages with this deck. There you are again. Okay. Hold on tight to those four pentacles. Additional messages. Remember, you want to be that king, not this king. You want to be that abundant, tranquil, calm, and collected king. Not the stress one. Okay, additional messages, advice, warnings in case I'm missing something. And then we'll close the reading with. Uh, Dream Decoder Oracle Deck. I feel a little lightheaded right now. Okay, that, I don't know if that means something to you. It's kind of like, just, you know, I'm here, but I'm not here. Okay. Best additional messages for Libra regarding this reading or situation, please. If there's something else they need to know, what would it be, please? Thank you. else that one that's it you have a temper and Sagittarius energy that's trusting connecting to the divine doing your work focusing trusting growing ascending okay alchemizing and staying balanced okay Stay focused. I got the Knight of Cups. That's maybe you finally moving towards something more emotionally fulfilling, you know. You're meant to. Maybe, like I said, some of you do have to make a sacrifice or leave something behind, okay? If that's the case, okay? But you're meant to reach this King of Pentacles energy. Because I have the Queen of Pentacles also as the other card that flew out. That's the Divine Feminine aspect of that King of Pentacles. And guess what? What you are seeking is seeking you. This Divine Masculine and Feminine energies that are finally... And whether it's a relationship or not, it's you, it's something within you, it's the future version of you with the present, present version of yourself, you know, finally coming into you and finally reaching this stability. The Queen of, of, of Pentacles is an energy of someone who's still trying to figure things out. But she has to have faith. It's like the, all queens are the same. They do more inner work because they're trying to accomplish something. There's a lot of spiritual growth and personal growth in the queens. Okay. Very grounded energy. You have to be very grounded. Okay. But you really want to reach this King of Pentacles? Well, you have to have faith and trust and There might be some healing for some of you that has to happen, okay? But yeah, it's uh, it's trying to come. Come on, let go, okay? 
need strength, I know. But you are the one who are who is holding everything. You're choking the energy. Okay. Let's close your reading with uh, Dream Decoder. Remember, this is the most common dreams for humankind. I don't know if animals also have this type of dreams. So let's just keep it for humans, okay? Whether you've had this dream or not, it doesn't matter. Just take the message as the best resonates for you. And remember that it doesn't have to be related or correlated with the reading. Just take it as additional advice that might help you at some point. Yeah. That one. Children. Children in dreams tend to be positive signs, symbolizing joy, spontaneity, or warmth. Depending on your circumstances, they could also indicate a desire for more fun, energy, or innocence. Another possible interpretation is that a dream child represents your attitude to your own childhood. The meaning could also relate to any current feelings of vulnerability or dependency you may have. Forgetting or losing a child is a reminder to focus your energies and waking life on what truly matters. Perhaps you're focused more on providing for your family than on being with them. This is a common issue in the work-life balance dilemma. Dreams of unborn children you may one day have suggest future potential you have yet to identify or focus on. In rare in rare instances, such dreams may indeed show your unconscious mind crossing the boundaries of time and space to glimpse your future intuitively. Okay, Libra. I hope that uh, message resonates for you somehow. And uh, I guess I'll leave it there if that's the best I can do for you. Libra. If you like this reading, enjoy it. If it helps you somehow, please do hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. And as usual, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye, Libra.